Hello, let us try to understand the typical circuit layout for detecting power theft in domestic energy meters. While we operate this, what we find that this is a typical energy meter and then we have a load from the energy meter and one load before the energy meter. Now what we see, you know, when we connect this and look at this meter, look at this meter which is connected across this transformer arrangement. Now when you connect this, we get the voltage of 226 volts across the load here which is passing through the energy meter. But if we use some of the load which is not passing through energy meter, what we can see there is a voltage which is developed here. We will try to discuss all this as to how it happens. Look at this circuit. If we take out the arrangement for detecting the power theft, let us try to understand this. So we have a voltage coil here as far as the energy meter is concerned and the current coil the typical arrangement inside the energy meter is like this. We have a supply source which is connected to the input and then it passes through the current coil and goes to the load. We have a switch for supply to be drawn through the energy meter and we have one more uh, lamp load which is uh, drawn before the meter and we will see how it uh, behaves and while we are trying to detect the power theft. Now we have connected the transformers for detecting the power theft. There are two transformers. One can take two CTs or uh, one can take step down transformer where the secondary side which has got low impedance has to be connected in series with the supply. And similarly this secondary which is also has low impedance has to connect it in series with the load. And while we trying to operate this and what we find now the load which is not connected from the energy meter we connect the load now once we connect the load we get a supply the load is switched on but here there is no voltage but the moment we switch on any load which is before the meter we see there is a voltage of about 8 volts which is developed this is because the while this was not connected while this was not connected actually the potential difference between these two used to be zero because they are in out of phase. Once any load is connected, actually there is an imbalance and out of phase happens. This is how the out of phase happens in the process. Whatever current is flowing that in this and this transformer, there is a out of phase difference. So that is how when we switch on this, we get a voltage here. But while one has to try this one has to take precautions in the real hardware and since this is the higher voltage winding it one has to connect some resistance if it is at a city voltage then we have to connect about 10k or 20k resistance here and similarly here in order to get this voltage rectified and use it for certain purpose maybe for comparator and then to try to find out some result out of this so this is what is how a power theft project can be developed using this kind of sensing arrangement. If you like it, please subscribe. Thank you.